Kakadosh Bokatov, Shavuotov. We're continuing with Siman Tavkuf Pe Gimel. This is talking about now things that we usually are accustomed to eat on the night of Rosh Hashanah. Maran brings down Ye Adam Ragil Lechol Be Rosh Hashanah, Rubia Daidu Tiltan, Karti Silka Tamre Kra. Basically, Maran is bringing down the order of what we have of the concept of Simanim. We know that the reason why we eat Simanim is in order to have a good year. And therefore, we come on the night of Rosh Hashanah and we're going to partake in certain types of foods in order to have a good year. Now, what exactly does this mean, all these different things? So, Maran brings down that the Minhag is going to be to eat, whether it's going to be uh, Rubia. Or he comes and he's going to, to be right eating other types of food. So, first of all, some people say that the Rubia is actually going to be Shuit, which is going to be green beans. Right? Other people say that it's going to be the, the sesame seeds. Right? Then you have karti, which are the leeks. Silka, which is a selik. Right? He says, or for example, the person has this is talking about the, the Swiss chard. Right? They have a tamre, this is the tmanim. Kra, which is going to be the, when we're talking about uh, squash. Right? Ushiuchar rubia. So now when you're going to come and eat every single type of these foods, so you have to say a yehirat son, which is basically a prayer that has to do with that food. And it actually has the same words of it. So for example, when it says rubia, which that is the, what we, we said, it's going to be the green beans, or it's going to be, let's say, the sesame seeds. What are you going to do? It sounds like rubia, so yishirbu. It should multiply our zechuyot. Karte, when a person is going to say karte, which is going to be the, the when we're talking about the leeks, so he says yikaretu, it sounds like karet, so it should be cut off. Our enemies. Silka yisalku. They should remove our enemies. Tamre, which is going to be the dates. Yitamu sonenu. They should abolish. Kra, which is going to be the, the squash. Yikaradu agazar dinam. Yikaradu fanecha zirotenu. So again, these are just the different types of foods that a person will eat on the night of Rosh Hashanah. The Ramad does bring down this minhag of having tapuach matok bidvash. Right? We do have the tapuach, but usually we do it in sugar and not in dvash. As it's brought down in the Moel Luchol Chai, that uh, he's with this Rav Chaim Falache, he says that the puach you should do it in sugar, not dvash. Because he said to me, Tshuva, it's uh, fitting not to have the dvash. He says because there's a whole inyan to do with the dvash, whether it's midat adin and other things as well. But then you say, Titchadesh lenu shana metuka. Right, that's what he's saying. Uh, right, matok as, as dvash. And uh, that's the minhag. And some people also have rimonim. So we usually do the rimonim on the second night in order to have the shechianu. And we say, yot karimon. We know that the pomegranate has a lot of different seeds inside. So therefore we want that there should be a lot of mitzvot, just like the rimon. And we have a minhag also of having basar shamen bechol minem etika. And also whether it's going to be meat, right, or other types of sweet things as well. When we're talking about this minhag, the Ramban, in the beginning, Parashah Lech Lecha says, Ki kol gezerat irin keshetetzea gzera min akoach al pol dimion, tia gzera mikayemet. What does that mean? Whenever you have a gezera, when you take it, right, from the poel dimion, right, from the koach to the pole, which means you actually take it into the forest, so therefore the gezera is going to be mitkayem. And that's why we do these simanim, and we're not just going to say yiratzon, and that's it. But rather we actually come and we actually do have the simony, we have the food in order that we should actually partake also and that it should actually be uh, fulfilled. I mean, how is to do the Seder Simanim also on the second night as the Rav Chida brings down and that's a Sever Amani even though there were certain Minagim that they would only do it on the first night and not on the second night. Right? There was brought down in the Benish Chai that the Minag is to do the Seder Simanim right? Even in, in Sudat Shachrit which means the Benish Chai says that they wouldn't only do it not only in the night time even in the morning they would do the simanim, which is actually very, very interesting, right, also as well. Now obviously when a person is going to be taking all these different things, they should be careful whether it's going to be with bugs or other things as well. You want to obviously uh, be very, very careful, right, uh, of doing these things. There was a minhag also in Ashkenaz, but it's also minhag by others as well, that they would dip the bread also in honey. So it's not only just going to be that it would be the the apple, but they would dip the bread, whether it's going to be in honey, right? And he says, And now even in Sfarad, they have this minhag to do it. But first do it in salt, and then afterwards you do it in dvash. That's what's brought down in the Kafa Chaim. However, though the Brit Kiuna brings down the minhag of Jerba was that they would only do it in sugar, and they wouldn't do it at all, not in honey or not in salt, only in sugar. That was the minhag in the Jerba as it's brought down in the Brit Kiuna. So obviously you see from here, 
that we do have different minagim about how do we do it exactly. But the other will speak about in the, in the, the next coming days. When do you do the yiratzon? Is it first that you come and you're first going to eat the food? Then you do the yiratzon. You do yiratzon and then you eat the food. Do you eat, make the bracha, eat a little bit, and then you do the yiratzon? So there's going to be three different ways of doing it. And the Bezat Hashem, we're going to be explaining all the different ways of how to fulfill this uh, mitzvah of eating the simanim on the night of Rosh Hashanah in order to have a shana metuvah metuka. Amen.